all right so here uh, talking about the tendinous ring we go to know that the four rectus muscles originate from a common tendinous ring which is the same thing as endless of zinc so i'm explaining it here really for you to see clearly so being it a uh, ring that's not necessarily mean it's round or something but it's, it is oval shape you see it's oval oval shape that's the, the tendinous ring that the tendinous spring. This shape is sort oval. Now, look at the definition of that. It, you see, you said it is being what? It's at the apex and what? And encloses it encloses the optic canal. This is the optic canal. So the common tendinous spring encloses the optic canal. And here is the optic nerve. The optic nerve. Good. And then also it divides the region of the superior beta fissure. So this is the uh, common tendinous ring, and this is the superior orbital fissure. The superior orbital fissure. This is it. So it divides the region. You see one region, another region. Here. So it divides the region of the superior orbital fissure. And some of the things which are able to pass through the common tendinous ring is what the superior division, the superior division of the oculomotor nerve, nasociliary nerve, inferior division of the oculomotor nerve, and then the abducens nerve. All these nerves. Pass through the common tendinous ring. So I'll show you a diagram here. I'll show you a diagram here. Looking at this, looking at this, you see that this is what the absent nerve. And this is the common tendinous ring. This is the common tendinous ring. So you are seeing that the, 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 there's a penetration of the absent nerve to the muscle. To the muscle, you get it. And this is the absent nerve. That means this this nerves are able to pass through a common tendinous ring. Oh, see in yellow. You see in yellow are the nerves, the red are the arteries, and then the blue are the veins. Right. So the tendons are made up of this tendon, the tendinous ring. The tendon is made up of what? Fibrous connective tissue. The tendons here are made up of fibrous connective tissue. Right. That's all, that's all about the tendon spring. It is over shape, over shape, and it's uh, at the apex of the it's found at the apex of the orbit around the optic canal, right? So it 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 surrounds the optic canal. It encloses the optic canal, and then this common tendon spring also divides the region of the superior beta fissure. So this is around the superior region, and then some of the structures which are able to pass through the common tendon springs. And the superior, uh, the superior division of the locomotor nerve, nasociliary nerve, inferior division of the locomotor nerve, and then the uh, adolescence nerve. So all these structures are able to penetrate or pass through the mountain nose ring. And this shape, as is as is being seen, is ring does not necessarily mean that it's round, but it is oval shape, as you can see here. So that's all about the mountain nose ring. So mountain nose ring. Let's say the medial rectus muscle will come will, will, will pass the side. Media will we'll go here. I try to will we'll stand from this side, and then the, uh, the anterior and posterior, the anterior and superior will come this side. As I see here, same thing. So this is the point of no spring. As I see, that being over, she don't mind the, it being circular. It's supposed to be over. So you see that this thing here. So some of the some of the muscles will stand from this side, others will stand from that side, and that side, and all that. You get it. So it is over shape. Nice. All right, so we are talking about the actions and functions. The actions and functions, right? So this is the lateral rectus muscle, or the lateral rectus, and its function is to abduct. Its function is to abduct. So it contracts to abduct. It contracts to abduct. And then the medial rectus muscle also contracts to abduct. And we should take carefully. The word adduct in medical Latin means to draw towards. And then the word abduct means to turn away. So away from the nasa, the nose means lateral. And close to the media means close to the nose means media or adduct. So the positions of the various muscles or the names of the various muscles is as a result of where they are positioned. So since this muscle is close to the nose, 
That's why it's called the major rectus. And this is why this is why the reason why this is called the lateral rectus is that it's away from the nose. Well, the nose are you get it? Very simple as that. Now we have the internal rotation. So if the cornea or the people is rotated. So if the cornea is pushing a two, in a 12 o'clock direction, right? This is a 12 o'clock direction, 12 o'clock. If you have a clock, a 12 o'clock is here. So it means upwards, upwards. So if the people is located at a 12 o'clock direction and turns medially, and turns, it rotates, let's say rotates. And rotates, rotates medially. That is close to the nose. Rotates medially. That is what is called what? the intention, intention, intention. But when it rotates laterally, that's what they call it, the extortion, extortion. So if this nose rotates this way, it's called extortion. And it rotates medially. That is close to the nose. It is called intention. Simple like that. Now. It is. So coming here with the industry is called the intention. And the rotating rotating the people rotating to the lateral side is called the extortion. Extortion. Now yeah, I said I mean I'm talking about only these two matters. Lateral and major rotations. That's the matter I'm talking about. Right. And, and the muscles, these muscles are straight. You see, the word rectus in medical Latin means straight. And then the word oblique means they are not straight, but they come in an angular, angular form. Right? So there's some kind of angularity. There is angle from which they extend from. Right? That's, what, that's all about the lateral rectus and the medial rectus. So the right, uh, rectus muscles are kind of straight. And then the medial rectus um, comes in an angular, angular form. Good. So we know the function of the lateral rectus is to abduct and the function of the medial rectus is to adduct and explain all that. Now, we have binocular eye movements and disconjugate, disconjugate movements. We have conjugate movements and then disconjugate, disconjugate uh, movements. That is it. The, 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 conjugate, the conjugates are the versions and then the disconjugates are the versions, right? And for the versions, the versions, the movement of, uh, of, of both eyes in the same direction. So the version, the way conjugates mean like, like to come to add or something. The way conjugate to connect, to couple, related. Then we have conjugates, you get it. So the conjugates, both eyes move in the same direction. But the versions, both eyes move in opposite directions. So with the with the with, with the versions we talk about dextro version, lumbar version, square version, and infra version. So versions are the movement of both eyes in the same direction. Versions are the movement of both eyes in the same direction. So we have an eye here, and now when you have an eye here, like this. Sorry, sorry. Have one here, and they are all looking at the left side. This side. This is what we call version. See, both eyes are moving in the same direction. But with the, with the, with the uh, vergences, or with the vergences, why is one is looking on the other side? Why is one is looking here? And one is looking here. Or, but that's still, why is one is with the vergences? Why is one eye? Looking here, now this is looking on the left. This is looking here, so they're in opposite. In opposite, that's for the bedding. The bedding are in opposite. So, why about this looking here? This looking here, so you look in opposite directions. But with the versions, you move in the same direction, and with the versions.